All right, so now it's time to make your WordPress site more search engine friendly. Now, before we can do that, we will need to install a WordPress SEO plugin. Now, we've tested many search engine optimizing type plugins over the years, and the most recent and the best, in our opinion, is Yoast SEO as of now. So what we need to do is go to Plugins, go to Add New, and type in Yoast SEO. That's Y-O-A-S-T SEO. So this is the plugin right here, WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's free. If you click on Install Now, we can go ahead and install that, activate the plugin, and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through. Now, as you can see here, after we have installed the Yoast SEO plugin, you'll notice it down right here. So we can go ahead and click on Dashboard. Now, the nice thing about the Yoast SEO plugin is it'll actually walk you through step by step on how to use it. And it'll give you recommended settings, site-wise settings, template, and other settings. But I'm going to just go ahead and close that down so that I can walk you through myself. Now up at the top here, you can allow tracking of this WordPress install. I would uncheck that for security reasons. For security, you can disable the advanced part of the SEO meta box. I would leave that checked. And as of here, it says Webmaster Tools. You can use the boxes below to verify with the different Webmaster Tools which all this allows you to do is, for example, you can verify with Google Master Tools so that you can easily upload the XML sitemaps and so forth. Now, in this example and in this series, we're not going to do this. We are going to submit the XML sitemap in the future to Google Master Tools, but not for now. So we're going to leave this blank under Titles and Metas. This is the more important part of the SEO settings in terms of the Yoast SEO settings. In general, we generally leave this blank as is, home. You can customize it if you would like to do so, but we generally leave this blank. Post types. This basically specifies the template for your posts, your pages, and your media. So basically makes it more search engine friendly for your post. So when Google comes to your post, they see your title, which this is basically made to customize your title for your post. You got your meta description template. So if you wanted to, you could have a overall description for all of your posts. If you like to, you can have no index or follow. It's up to you. You can show date in the snippet preview. And you can also hide the WordPress SEO meta box. In general, we'll just leave these blank as is. Pages, we'll leave it as blank. And media, this basically allows you to make your images and so forth more search engine friendly. So the nice thing about this is this automates the whole process. You don't have to do this manually. So taxonomies, these are similar to the post types in the sense that these are templates to make your categories more search engine friendly, your tags, and your format. Under other, you have author archives and date archives and special pages. Now, we're going to leave it as it is. And if we move down the line here, we have social, which allows you to integrate Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus into your Yoast SEO plugin. So for example, if you do have a Facebook fan page that does relate to your website, in this case, you can enter your Facebook page URL here, your image, your title, and description, and your image URL for default settings. And for Twitter, your username, for Google Plus, your Google Publisher page, and more. So that allows you to integrate your social into your site. Now under XML sitemaps, we're going to cover this later down the road, but this is crucial because this will allow you to get the XML sitemap, which we will then submit it to the Google Webmaster Tools later down the road. 
Under permalinks, this allows you to make your permalinks a little more search engine friendly. Internal links, we generally leave most of these as is because the default settings are good enough. But they are there for advanced users if you would like to tweak and change them. So with that said, we're going to move on to the next video and talk about how to customize the pages and the posts and make them more search engine friendly.